Hello everybody, myself is Suji Thakre. I am the first Indian artist who has achieved a postgraduate degree from the Academy of Arts, Rapin Institute of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture in St. Petersburg, Russia. I am also the founder president of the Rary Heart Club affiliated to Russian Center of Science and Culture, New Delhi. I have an experience of 40 years as a professional artist. Let us start our composition. Now I am starting to draw basic structure. When you start, don't put pressure on pencil. Hold the pencil from back. Draw first straight line. Don't make any details in this process. You have to keep in mind the proportion and angle of the head and figure. You can see the neck is bent to the back. See carefully the line of head, neck, shoulder, breast, torso. Raphael Sanzio, the Raphael was not an artistic innovator in the same sense as Da Vinci and Michelangelo, yet has been depraised as the idle high renaissance painter for the past five centuries. This is because in his art, Raphael portrayed noble and ideal individuals who move with dignity and grace through an intelligible and ordered world. This was achieved by unifying the movements of, the, of his figures and the Spaces he created for them into integrated, harmonious composition. Raphael's order is not merely intellectual. The figure in his work seem to be impelled by an energy that causes them to twist and turn gracefully into his characteristic spherical composition. So easy and beautiful in this motion that even at moments of drama, they seem to project calm. Make the proportion of the head. The pupil of the eye generally line up with the corner of the mouth. The ears are usually found between the eye line and the nose line. When drawing faces, use these standards to help you get your facial proportions correct. Mention the center line of the eye and again the line of nose and mouth at last ear.
when you are using the photograph you have to see very carefully the proportion of the composition You should know the proportion of the human figure. An average person is generally seven and a half head tall. including the head an idol figure used when aiming for an impression of nobility or grace is drawn at eight heads tall You can measure it by putting the pencil here. Raphael's style. Early years the influence of Perugino. It is nearly impossible to separate the style of Raphael in the early years from his at his master Perugino. Indeed Raphael's young hand must have played a part in many of Perugino major commissions Raphael's debt to Perugino is evident when comparing marriage of the virgin to perigonus chris handling the keys to saint peter one can note the same array of foreground figures the same polygon background temple and the same intervening pizza even the color of the painting are derived from perigno the clouds blue sky the deep blues roses and yellow and the blue green of the hills
despite the similarities however this work departs from polygonal in form and space The graceful pictures are woven into a unity unknown in Pilgrim's art. You can compare the proportion with photograph Just put the pencil horizontally and then vertical. It is coming equal from bottom to hand horizontal pyramid. Now you can put the ruler and can see the angles of the outline it is becoming triangle so we have to stand our line at the right Now put the ruler at the left you will see here also the pyramid and we have to extend the outline here also It is arranged in pyramidal composition. In the case of NC Dei Madonna, there is preparation on wood panel of gesso around with an oil base framing on top. Raphael achieved his effect by applying oil paint over these preparatory layers. I start light and shade by using the brown colors. Start from shading the darker shadow list first. Raphael seems to have experimented with the oil media perhaps in order to achieve the greater depth of shadow and richer color associated with the oil medium but another consideration may have been the fact that it would have been easier for him to revise his assistant's work in oil than it was in fresco
Apply light blue in the sky, thinned with water. Wash technique using flat brush. Left to right stroke. Do the upper side darker and lighter near the head. More changes in style and technique can be observed in Raphael's drawing upon his arrival in Rome. There is the gradual abandonment of the metal point in favor of chalk and his use of new medium of red chalk especially for the studies for the female nudes in the triumphs of Galita. Using a female nude model in its was unusual, Raphael himself had previously employed boys as a model for female figures. Make a tint of grey, thin with water and apply with cold stroke in the left side dress. the dark brown apply at the left bottom and the right side. Take the crimson thinned with water and apply here. Now take a fine brush and apply black contour of the dress. Make the contour of the arm and hand give the shading. Most Renaissance painter make sketches to try out compositional schemes and make blueprints for assistance to enlarge and transfer in outline to walls and canvases.
graphites are particularly sensitive more like the later Venetian painter than his contemporaries in Rome and help shape the creative process. Over 400 survived a small portion of an astonishingly prophetic artist. First would come rapid sketches, then more finished drawing, and finally highly finished drawing for transfer. Raphael learns silver point while studying with Perigueux and he used this extremely demanding medium that does not allow mistakes throughout his career. Pen and ink was used extensively after 1505 and to these were often added washes in ink or lead white. Black chalk drawing appear in his earliest drawing and red chalk which allow delicate and extensive modulations of tone after 1524. Many of the drawings are of great beauty and command enormous prices when they come on the market. <music> 